Iberian Lawyer has attended the 62nd edition of the International Congress of Young Lawyers, celebrated in Madrid and organized by AIJA, the International Association of Young Lawyers. During the event, we had the chance to speak to the new president, Cato Ayers, who is also a partner in the Belgian law firm Lidiam. So, first of all, Cato, congratulations for this new stage in the association. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. And as uh, the new president of AIJA, uh, what would you say are the biggest challenges that lawyers are facing in this changing world? Well, I think there are two big challenges. Um, the first one being um, artificial intelligence and the rise of technology for lawyers. So obviously we need to adapt, the world is adapting, and we are a knowledge profession. So that means that um, the knowledge of the lawyer itself is evolving with the use of technology as well. Um, I think that's one of the challenges. Um, question has often been asked, will lawyers be replaced by AI? I don't think so, but lawyers who cannot use AI will definitely be replaced by lawyers who can use AI. So that's the first one. And then the second one I'd say is um, retaining talent. Um, it's, it's in all markets, um, making sure that young people join uh, law firms and stay in the legal profession is one of the biggest challenges I think that uh, law firms face. And so for lawyers, it's very important to highlight the, the perks of being a lawyer. I think it's an amazing profession, but it's a demanding one as well. So it's very, it demands big flexibility. You need to be available 24 seven to your clients. And some of the young people just don't want to do that anymore. And I think we need to rethink a bit the way we practice law and also make sure that we highlight the positive things about um, our, our profession. And what role uh, would you say that these associations like AIJA uh, play in, in solving these kind of challenges? Well, I think a very important role that uh, AIJA plays in particular is that AIJA is the only global association for young lawyers. So that means that we bring together young lawyers and we exchange and we work on professional development. We build a network together. So when it comes to the first challenge that I mentioned, uh, the rise of technology and the use of AI, we really invest highly in making sure that this is high on the agenda. We have sessions almost in every event about AI. We um, come up with learnings for our members, practical tools to use, and we even have a dedicated uh, board. Um, we call it our skill board, and they are also um, in charge of legal tech um, topics. And then the second challenge I'd say, well, AISHA is the unique platform to bring lawyers together and showcase what it's like to be a lawyer, an international lawyer. You meet people from all over the world. And I can honestly say um, you meet uh, people who are like-minded, who face the same challenges in their careers, you help each other overcome these challenges, and along the way you make friends. So I really do think that uh, AISHA is a way to um, let law firms uh, also experience a positive side of the profession, send young lawyers to AISHA where they can grow together, meet peers, and honestly make friends for life. And one last question before we leave. Uh, what would you say are the three pillars of your mandate? Well, I would want to focus on the part in our name that is about young lawyers. So I really want it to be about them. And I've gathered in three pillars, as you said correctly. Um, it's, the first one is to empower young lawyers. Um, what I, uh, one of the initiatives that I've, that I've taken is to establish um, a page on our website, a dedicated page on our website, where our members will be able to publish articles. Um, because, of course, we are in a knowledge profession and it's very important that we can showcase our expertise and give this platform to our members. Um, the second pillar is to connect lawyers. Um, an association, a professional association, is always about connection, so it's always been in our DNA. But I think, um, especially because we are an association for young lawyers, people enter the association in their late 20s, they stay until they're 45, and in that time span, a lot can happen. You join as an associate, and then you move on to eventually partnership in your law firm. And we have so much knowledge and experience that I think we should leverage and tap into. And uh, I would like to um, do that with the mentorship program that we've just launched, um, where um, members who are more experienced, let me call it that way, so about the age of 40, but also alumni who've you know, learned a lot in the association and want to give back, can be mentors for younger um, members, uh, those who are under the age of 40, and we'll pair them together so that they can have a coaching year together where they meet up regularly or they can work on a specific uh, project. And then the third pillar is to uh, thrive, let young lawyers thrive. 
And I think it's important that we address the mental health issues that uh, are, are very um, present in our profession. We've conducted a survey over the summer. We had lots of responses from our members, which is a fantastic thing because it means that we heard from them, that the responses are um, representative of what, what the, um, the membership in, in Aisha thinks. But it also means that it's high on the agenda and people are really facing mental health issues. Um, I think one of, uh, slightly over one third of the, of the respondents said that they uh, experience symptoms of depression sometimes and only 60% say that um, the workplaces are very supportive in facing mental health challenges. So that is definitely something that we will work on. Um, it will be one of the topics for our podcast series in the next year where we really aim to give um, tools to young lawyers and to law firms as well to improve the mental health of lawyers and uh, work together for a better world. As I said, there is only one association uh, for young lawyers in the world. We have a voice and we should use it. It sounds uh, perfect and thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And from Iberian Lawyer, we would like to wish you so much luck in this new stage next to the young lawyers and the future of the legal market. Thank you. I appreciate it.